Okay, so carry on then with your next review. So basically, um, uh, Dracula Untold, which is a kind of reboot of the Dracula mythology, which effectively, well, it's sort of like two things. One of them is that somebody sort of expanded the prologue for Francis Ford Coppola's Dracula. The other one is that Stephanie Mayer appears to have effectively bitten Bram Stoker. So it's what you get is a sort of post Twilight, post Francis Ford Coppola retelling of the Dracula myth, in which Vlad, our central character, is not some you know horrible fiendish evil ghoul. He's somebody who's a very very caring husband and indeed a caring father, and um, he's desperately trying to uh, to 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 protect his uh, nice peaceful life. He, he has done some impaling, um, but he's now stopped the impaling and he's come home and he wants to look after his wife. But now a horrible sultan is attacking and he's going to go, wants to take all their children away. So he's got to somehow he's got to fight back. How, how shall he do it? I don't know. He shall climb up a mountain and find a cave in which a vampiric creature played by Charles Dance is living and see whether he can't get some of his powers. Here's a clip. Why spill blood if not for the pleasure of it? Because men do not fear swords. They fear monsters. They run from them. By putting one village to the stake, I spared ten more. Sometimes the world no longer needs a hero. Sometimes what it needs is a monster. And you believe you know what it is to be a monster? Hmm? <laughs> you have no idea. But I'm going to show you. Charles Dance having fun as the sort of golem-like creature in the background who at some point in earlier versions of the script was Caligula, as far as I can tell. Um, it's nonsense. It's not as bad as, as uh, I Frankenstein, or as Kim Newman dubbed it, you Frank I Strain, which is very clever. Very good. Um, it's, it's kind of revisionist CGI riddled baloney boulder dash with uh, Dominic Cooper with this anachronistic flat top and swarthy slap as the person who's doing the menacing and Luke Evans having to take on these evil powers in order to become basically the sort of the, the, the post Twilight Dracula. It doesn't have the romance that the Edward and Bella fans would want. In fact, frankly, you know, they're going to get more out of Fifty Shades of Grey. Charles Dance does have a lot of fun, but the whole thing plods along in terribly ordinary fashion. It's a production that's shot in Northern Ireland. There was some controversy about the fact they didn't actually manage to have the premiere in Northern Ireland. It's very ordinary and very televisual. And at the end, there's a kind of finale, which appears to be setting it up either for a sequel or more likely now to tie into the forthcoming universal Marvel style monsters universe reboots terribly perfunctory, not awful, but nothing you haven't seen before. And for an origin story, it does an awful lot of retreading ground that we have seen done better elsewhere. It is a matter of going, oh yeah, that's Coppola. Oh yeah, that's Stephanie Mayer. Oh yeah, that's because you're setting it up for the, for the, for the Universal franchise. So not as bad as it could have been, but nothing like as good as it should have been.